Every bell has a different sound. It's about 6 in the morning here in Kagbeni and I got up to an early start because I wanted to catch the clear skies while they last and uh, I thought I'd start by showing you guys this view from my window That's Mount Nilgiri if I'm not wrong I'm staying at a place called Paradise Trekkers Home It's a Nice quiet place. There are quite a few hotels here in Kagbeni, surprisingly, you know. You'd imagine that given how difficult it is to get to these places, they're not particularly popular, but there are a lot of hotels and tourism seems to be a huge source of income for people in all of the villages along the way. So in that sense, it's good. Rooms are not too expensive, between 500 to 700, 800 for shared bathroom rooms and thousand plus if you want your own bathroom i managed to get a good deal here 500 bucks i've got an attached bath but um food is expensive so that's where they sort of get you so whenever you try to find a room anywhere in mustang or pretty much anywhere in nepal always ask how much the room is and how much food is because like while i used to pay about 150 nepali rupees for a meal in some parts of Nepal, over here, I'm paying 350 and some of the other hotels wanted 600 or 800 rupees per meal. So you always need to ask about food and accommodation and then decide where you want to stay. I'm thinking of riding to Muktinath now. Might be an interesting time to go. There's only one way to find out. Muktinath is very close to Kagbeni, just a little over 10 kilometers away. But unlike any other part of Mustang, for this bit, you find a smooth stretch of tarmac. Oh my god, there is a road here! <laughs> I haven't seen road in so many days. Wow, it's cold. Feet are also frozen. One of the interesting things about uh, Muktinath 
is that it's a place of religious importance for Hinduism and Buddhism. And you literally have the temple on one side and then you have uh, a monastery and a Buddha statue just there. It's all like interconnected within the same premises. It's pretty cool. Very, very crowded though. And this is not even season. I think uh, the time when there's a festival here and stuff is probably like 100 times this crowd. Beautiful. The view of the mountains from here is... This is Susant Junior. Susant is from Kathmandu. Susant is 17 years old. Yeah. And you came here because you wanted to travel. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. He's wearing my sunglasses now. Come, let's go. Get on. While riding back from Muktinath, I was once again blown away by the beautiful views of the Mustang Valley and the majestic mountains in the distance. Descending into the valley as the mountains seemed to only keep growing larger, I couldn't help but be reminded of the fact that we're each just a tiny speck in an unimaginably large universe. It's both awe-inspiring and humbling. Hello. Hi. Hello. Ab kya kar rahe ho? Oh. Back in Kagbeni, I used the rest of the day to explore the narrow alleyways of this ancient village. An oasis of green in an otherwise barren landscape. Kagbeni is said to have once been a flourishing convergence point for four trade routes. The village is now barely a shade of what it must have been in the past. But walk around and you will see remnants of what it once was everywhere. Totally got lost finding my way back to the village now. 